The fine-tuning of the universe is one example of its many wonders. Another example is so common, we see it all around us all the time. When we come back, we'll talk about the wonder of light. Albert Einstein taught us that time and space are related by light. Imagine you and I hitch a ride on the Starship Enterprise, traveling at the speed of light. Now remember, at the speed of light, time stops. So if we look out the window while traveling at this speed, we would be aware of the past, the present, and the future all at once. This bizarre universe, which seems absurd to us, is the very universe described by quantum physics. Uh, classical physics uh, seems to want to get any kind of mind or consciousness or observer or anything spiritual out of the equation altogether. It's really a basically a materialistic point of view. Quantum physics says that even material itself is not materialistic, that we can't understand matter itself in a purely materialistic way. Quantum physics is really pointing to or indicating a direction for spirituality to, uh, to take. It's, it's pointing to where spirituality and science might find a common ground. The concept that there is something outside the material world becomes even more evident when you consider light. You see, light has the ability to behave in a seemingly conscious manner, to actually transmit information across the entire universe instantly. Consider this. In 1997, a Geneva researcher created a pair of twin light photons and sent them flying in opposite directions along optical fibers. When one photon hit a mirror, it was forced to make a random choice to go one way or the other. Whichever way it went, its twin photon, already seven miles away, always instantaneously took the very same option. Instantaneous is the key word here. The reaction of the twin photon was not delayed by the amount of time it takes light to travel seven miles. Other more recent experiments support this finding. In fact, physicists now believe that an entangled twin particle will know what its partner is doing and instantaneously mimic its actions even if the pair live in separate galaxies billions of light years apart. Since we've been told that nothing can travel faster than the speed of light, how does one photon on one side of the universe know what the other photon on the other side of the universe is doing instantly? Non-locality is being discussed by a lot of physicists nowadays. And what that means is that the information at any point in the universe is accessible to any other point without any kind of a time delay. So we have now a growing concept of what a non-time-space source is, what this thing we call consciousness or God is, that it exists without linear time and without space and yet contains the potential for everything that exists in our world. So it seems that any information at any point in the universe is accessible to any other point without any kind of time delay. Isn't that amazing? 